Hello, welcome to Healing in the Kitchen with Dr. Jennifer Daniels. My name is Dr. Jennifer Daniels. And in the Healing Kitchen, we believe that food can heal you. And we believe also that you need to start with clean food, clean hands, clean heart, clean water, clean dishes. This is a wonderful recipe because how many times have you heard some health practitioner tell you you've got to give up your ice cream or you've got to give up your dessert or you have to somehow suffer? Heck no. That's why we're here today. So orange sorbet is your salvation. Now, orange sorbet, the great thing about it is number one, it tastes great. Number two, is it's a wonderful dessert. You can even serve it to company and they won't even realize you're eating healthy. This is the bomb. First ingredient in orange sorbet is an organic orange. And because we believe in clean food, that means this is an organic orange, preferably locally grown, as close as possible to where we live. Now, for this particular recipe, the orange you select will determine how the sorbet tastes. So, if you like a certain type of orange, purchase that orange organic and that will flavor your sorbet and you'll taste the wonderful flavor. So this is an orange. Now, it turns out that with oranges, it's easier if you slice it first. And when you slice it, what you're looking for is seeds. And if you have seeds, you want to remove them. Why do you want to remove them? Because seeds are going to make your sorbet bitter. So don't put the seeds in. Now, this orange looks very red, almost like a grapefruit, because it's a different variety of orange. And that is really an exciting part about eating organic and eating local. You get a lot of unusual things that are healthy for you, uh, but you might not have tried otherwise. So when you eat things that are organic, that are locally grown, that are in season, you pretty much have to accept what's available. But a lot of times, what's available is really a pleasant surprise. That's what I found. When I started eating healthy like this, the variety just opened up. Now, the variety at any one particular point in time may have been small, but throughout the year, it was a tremendous variety. Some things being available for 10 minutes, other things being available for 10 weeks. So we're going to take these oranges, and the reason we cut them up is to make it easier in our blender so we can get smaller bits when we blend and a much finer sorbet, one, again, that you'll be proud to serve to your guests and one that you will look forward to eating yourself. Now, our next ingredient is a banana. Now, this banana was purchased at the organic section of a local grocery store. And for those of you who are not familiar with organic, all the organic products is labeled with the number nine as the first digit. So that helps you kind of sort things out. So you want to get an organic banana. And if you like more banana in your sorbet, guess what? Get a bigger banana. If you like less banana, get a smaller banana. Now, this is a wonderful recipe because it can be scaled up or scaled down. One orange, one banana three oranges, three bananas. So depending on how many people you're preparing for, you can just increase the number of each. Now again, we're going to slice this up. The reason we're slicing this is again, so the blender can blend better and you can get a nice smoother product. This is your regular everyday blender. You may want to get a Vitamix, which is a stronger blender. Okay, now we use a frozen banana and this gives us the texture um, to our a sorbet so it's nice chilled dessert. Now, a lot of people are concerned about the price of organic. In the case of bananas, these sorbets are wonderful with very ripe bananas. So you can wait till those bananas are just about ready to go and buy them at a wonderful price. Peel them, put them in the freezer, and pull them out whenever you feel like a sorbet. Okay, well that looks pretty good. I think it's about done. Well, this is just about done, and now some people wonder about the bananas and do they turn brown in the freezer and what do you do about that? Well, it turns out that as the bananas freeze, sometimes they can be turn brown if you leave them in the freezer for a long time, but this does not diminish the flavor at all, and you can still use bananas that have been in the freezer for a while. So we're going to take this, we're going to poison here, depending on how frozen your banana is and how cold your orange is, sometimes it pours and sometimes it's thick, so the thickness can, you know, can vary. So we're going to pour that in right there. And we, usually you make this while you're cooking dinner, and you put it in the freezer to chill up, so when dessert time comes around, you can take it out and it's nice, nice and, and firm. And we have so one that's been chilling in the freezer, and it's all ready to eat. Now, this is orange sorbet. The most important thing about this sorbet is you avoided 
the ice cream fix. The other thing about this sorbet is you have a very healthy banana full of potassium, full of fiber, full of enzymes, all ready to help nourish you and give you that nice, full, comfort feeling. You also have an orange, again, filled with bioflavonoids, filled with vitamin C, ready to nurture and heal your body. So we're just going to take a taste. Mmm. Mmm. That's very nice. I just want you to know how valuable and how important this dish is. When I was practicing as a family practice doctor, I had the most difficult time getting people better from diseases like hypertension and arthritis. And in order to heal, they had to get rid of the ice cream. The ice cream just had to go. And so many people told me, Doc, I'm not giving up my ice cream. And so when I developed this recipe, I said, oh, thank God. And this allowed people to, to let go of their ice cream, let go of their dairy, so they can heal their arthritis and heal their cardiac What's illnesses. What's in that? This is oranges and bananas. That is it. A frozen banana and an orange blended together in the blender. And it tastes just wonderful. And when you taste it, you'll feel wonderful too. This is Dr. Jennifer Daniels, Healing in the Kitchen with Dr. Daniels, Vitality Capsules.com. Hope to see you soon.